continuous search for a guy who went missing in the river on Saturday evening. Uh, we're going to put some, a drone up in the air and we have a couple of people who are coming out for volunteer to do some ground searching and hopefully we, uh, we find something. Hey Bob, how'd it go last night? It went fine. We um, covered the area pretty well. This is a DJI Mavic Pro 2 unmanned aerial vehicle. You can search a lot of this area and not have to worry about jeopardizing your volunteers in the dangerous rapids. Uh, it's new technology that we've been using for a couple years, or about a year now or so. Extremely helpful. We've, I can't tell you how many man hours we've saved. This, we can't put a boat in this area of the river. It's super dangerous. There's really nowhere to put it in and nowhere to take it out. My drone from here, so I'm 31 feet above where we took off, which puts us about, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 60 feet above the river. So if I see something of interest, I'm gonna come down on it and see if I can get a better angle. Rescue three, rescue two. Give me like one minute. I gotta land my drone. We got reserve deputy here. We got one of our star guys right here and I'm gonna pull out right here. If you look at the river, you can kind of see the middle is a lot faster than the sides. And then there's a line. You can sort of see it right here by this branch where the river slows down. That line where it slows down is called an eddy fence. And so what we look for when we're searching this river is we try to focus on those areas of the river because we know that if he's in the middle of the river and if he's floating, he's gonna be easy to see. But the river has a tendency to push debris and other things to the side into the eddy fence. You can see that rock that's in the middle of the river that's mostly submerged with the water. Okay, so behind it, you can kind of see the water coming back to it. That's called an eddy. And we also look for things like that because debris will come collect into an eddy. You have eddies in the middle of the river and on the very far shore there, you can see the water actually going back upstream. You see it real slowly kind of going back up and then it's kind of foamy in that shadow. That's another large eddy where things tend to collect. And our pilots know that when, when they're flying there, they know that too because that's where they're focusing their search. They're looking down at this side of the river from that side, it gives them a better angle. And the ability to come low and slow like that with a helicopter or actually have a set of eyes up there, it's super helpful. It today demonstrates kind of a real small segment of, of some of the things that we do uh, involving this search. Unfortunately, we didn't see anything this morning, um, but we saw a helicopter and we saw a drone, we saw some people searching from the shoreline. I've been with the sheriff's office for almost 24 years total, and I've worked a lot of really cool assignments. I've had a lot of a lot of good things happen, but this this assignment, I get to do stuff like this and and provide closure to these people who are missing their loved ones, and that's really rewarding. And that's why I like it so much.